Be thankful for what you have, you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never, ever have enough. If you think Independence Day is America's defining holiday, think again. Thanksgiving deserves that title, hands down. That's one of the great things about Thanksgiving, football's on. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. Joy is the simplest form of gratitude. At some point in life the world's beauty becomes enough. You don't need to photograph, paint, or even remember it. It is enough. Gratitude opens the door, the power, the wisdom, the creativity of the universe. You open the door through gratitude. If you want to turn your life around, try thankfulness. It will change your life mightily. When I started counting my blessings, my whole life turned around. Gratitude is the inward feeling of kindness received. Thankfulness is the natural impulse to express that feeling. Thanksgiving is the following of that impulse. Even in the trials of life, if we have eyes to see them, we can find good things everywhere we look. Let gratitude be the pillow upon which you kneel to say your nightly prayer. And let faith be the bridge you build to overcome evil and welcome good. I awoke this morning with devout thanksgiving for my friends, the old and the new. Appreciation is a wonderful thing. It makes what is excellent in others belong to us as well. When you arise in the morning, give thanks for the food and for the joy of living. If you see no reason for giving thanks, the fault lies only in yourself. For my part, I am almost contented just now, and very thankful. Gratitude is a divine emotion, it fills the heart, but not to bursting, it warms it, but not to fever. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. The heart that gives thanks is a happy one, for we cannot feel thankful and unhappy at the same time. Wear gratitude like a cloak, and it will feed every corner of your life. We are all more blind to what we have than to what we have not. Thank you is the best prayer that anyone could say. I say that one a lot. Thank you expresses extreme gratitude, humility, understanding. Kindness is always fashionable and always welcome. On Thanksgiving Day we acknowledge our dependence. When asked if my cup is half full or half empty my only response is that I am thankful I have a cup. Thanksgiving reminds us that no matter what befalls us in life, we can take the charred remnants and we can reconstruct a life unimaginably richer than that from which the shards and pieces fell. 
The thankful receiver bears a plentiful harvest. When it comes to life the critical thing is whether you take things for granted or take them with gratitude. Some people are always grumbling because roses have thorns, I am thankful that thorns have roses. Let me encourage you to get up every day and focus on what you do have in life. Be thankful for the blessings of the little things, even when you don't get what you expect. Give thanks not just on Thanksgiving Day, but every day of your life. Appreciate and never take for granted all that you have. If the only prayer you said in your life was, thank you, that would suffice. Yesterday's the past, tomorrow's the future, but today is a gift. That's why it's called the present.